Hello everyone and welcome. So I checked many videos on generator designing on YouTube and in every video there was something that was missing. So I'm going to make a new series on generator designing in Fusion 360. If you want to know more about generator designing, you can check my blog on my site. The link is in description box or you can see the video on generator designing on my channel. This series is for beginners in generator designing and also for the beginners in Fusion 360 because I'm going to make everything from the scratch and model it and then set up and run generator designing in Fusion 360. So now let's start and see what we are going to make in the tutorial one of the Fusion 360 generative designing. Uh, so we are going to make this Rokoboke mechanism. This mechanism is generally used in uh, Mars rover. You have, have seen it earlier. Uh, we are going to apply generative designing in the arms of this Rokoboke mechanism. So this is a rear arm and this is the front arm. Uh, this is rear and this is the front. So we are going to apply the generative design in the rear and front arm of this Roka bogey. So after applying this, we will get this. So in this first video, we are going to see how to model this arm. Okay. And in the next video, uh, we will going to see the apply the generative designing in this. So this series will contain about five to eight videos of generative designing. And after that, we will be completing our model fully in generative design. Uh, so let's get started. So as you open the uh, Fusion 360, you will get this type of the interface after signing in. As you can see, I have signed in. It's written Wurzel Jan. So I have signed in already. Okay, after signing in, you will get this type of interface. You have to select design here. There are various options, design, generative design, render, animation, simulation, manufacture, drawing. So we are going to select design option. Okay, after clicking on design, just click on create sketch. First, we are creating the 2D sketch. And after that, we will convert into 3D. So we have selected create sketch. Now you will get the options for three planes. I'm going to select this plane. As you can see, this is X, Y plane. Okay. So we have selected this. Okay. Now press the scroll button uh, to pan your drawing file. And you can also scroll in, scroll out for the zooming option. Fine. Now press L for line. As you can see, the line command has been selected. You can select it directly from here. but Better the use of hotkeys is good because uh, it will make your work faster. So after pressing L will select the line command. So we have selected a line command. After that, uh, we are going to make a line of uh, 212 mm. Uh, okay. And hit enter. And you can see that you have made a line of 212 mm at certain angle. And after that, again, I'm going to select the line command with pressing L and I'm going to make another line of the length of 194. Mm. Okay. By pressing tab button, you can switch between the angle and the distance. As you can see, I'm pressing tab to switch them. Okay. So hit enter. Fine. You have made this line. And after that, what you have to do, it's unnecessary. Just click and hit delete for it. It has been deleted here and deleted also. It's not necessary here. Delete. Fine. Okay. You can click on dimension and you can drag it them and you can move them anywhere you want. Okay. After that, there is another option for a dimension. You can see here, just hit D for dimension. You can see the D option selected. Click on this line, click on this line, and you can see it is specifying the angle. So select 103 degree. Fine. Now I'm going to tell you another command that is offset. So press O for offset. As you can see, it has been selected. What actually offset does, it will make a same figure parallel to the previous figure at some distance. So suppose if I select this, Okay, I can move it parallel up or parallel down. It's the same. Okay, so I'm going to it making 30. So rather making it again, we can make it directly by this. So it has been shifted by 30 as you can see. Great. Again, select line for L com line command. Join it here. Join it from here. Perfect. Okay, now select C for circle. As you can see, the circle command is active now. So the Fusion 360 is automatically showing the midpoint of the line. So from the midpoint, make a circle of dia of 30. So I can see I have made the circle of dia 30. Okay. Now select T for trim command. So what actually trim command do? It helps you to remove the excessive lines that you do not require in your file. So I am hitting T and as you can see, the scissor type figure has been selected. This is for the trim command. Okay, then I'm going to remove this and this. So as you can see, it has been trimmed. 
Okay, now you have to select the fillet. So for removing the sharp corners, I'm going to remove the sharp corner by using a fillet option. I'm going to do curve here. Okay, so here is a fillet option here. So select the fillet option from here and just click on both lines and select the fillet radius. It will ask you, it's given to 50. I'm using 10 mm. Okay, so I've given that 10 mm fillet radius. Great. After that, select again circle command C for circle or you can select it from here also. Okay, now select the circle command. So you have to make a circle at a distance of 20 from here in the middle of this line. So first select the line command L. Okay, and then at a distance of 20, hit enter. Again, select C for circle and make a circle of radius of a dia of 20. Okay, so I made that and this line is extra so just click on it and hit delete as you can see it has been deleted fine again c for circle and make a circle of radius of in the line of this about 20 great and at a distance of 14 from the here so i'm going to select the dimension and select this point select this point and uh, give them suppose we are going to give the distance 15 not 14 okay so we are going to select distance 15 so as you can see it has been selected fine you have completed your sketch finally everything is, is completed now oh one thing is left here is a circle also so let's again select c for circle and i'm going to make a circle of 10 mm dia here also so now finally we have completed the leg the rear leg sketch now we are going to make it 3d so just hit on finish sketch and as you can see everything exits out and you can here okay so for the scrolling option you can use the scroll button for zoom in zoom out and for if you click on it you can pan your drawing here and there on the interface okay just hit shift and click your scroll button you can move your drawing in 3d great as you can see here is a box here uh, just click on the front option to get the front view Click on the other option to get left, right, back, top, any views you can want. So I'm going to with the front view only now. Okay. Now here are other options for them. 3D modeling. The first option is create uh, in that extrude. So I'm going to use the extrude option. I'm going to select my sketch and I'm going to extrude my figure about uh, 5 mm. Great. So as you can see, I have extruded my figure about 5 mm. So you can see that your leg has been completed in 3D. Okay. So this much for today uh, and uh, if you want the hotkeys for the Fusion 360 that are the shortcut keys uh, you can see the link in the description box and if you want to know more about generative designing you can check my blog on generative design on my site the link is in description box or you can check uh, my video on generative design on my channel. So if you like the video uh, hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel for the more interesting video on generative designing and other softwares also. So let's meet in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.